I'm a long time gamer. I always wanted to do a game. Ever since I was five, my parents had this Atari 2600 in the basement, and I just, I spent so long just down there trying to figure out those games. When I first discovered the IFL and the SDK, I saw that it was a huge opportunity. I was like, wow, I can, I can do a game on my own terms. What excited me about the platform was just the fact that it was an all-in-one end-to-end tool chain. And I knew an iPhone provided a fundamentally new type of gaming experience. And I asked myself, for a game based on touching and tilting, what's a natural evolution point for that? What kind of game would, would fit best in that? When I started thinking about ideas for the game, at first I wanted to have a web of some kind, and you wanted to pinch the web points in each other. After that, I was like, well, I guess I gotta have like a lattice of intertwined shapes. And I'm like, how about I just make these things blocks? Then my buddy Rob came over, and we cut up my phone bill and had 500 triangles. And we said, OK, what can we fit in the screen? And they're still behind the couches somewhere, I don't know. I did the game from idea to demo in, in 10 days. I would go to work, get home at 5 PM, code till 5 AM, and then go out to work at 8 AM. The iPhone SDK was fantastic. You can start writing code. You can download the samples online and just you know plug it in. To be able to have, first of all, an inline debugger, you know, a full IDE code highlighting. Apple saying to you, look, we've dropped this in your hands. Just go and just have fun with it. The UI kit, they make it so easy to make animations happen. I had three screw head objects. And being able to rotate those screws is probably not something I would have done if it had been you know, hard to do. But Apple made it so easy. It's like, why not? It was like a, you know, two hours worth of work. The very last thing, I told myself I want to put all the features in and then worry about performance at the very end. And I thought I was on top of it, you know, and I opened up Instruments for the first time and I saw some leaks and I was like, okay, let's just figure them out. And, you know, I got done with my leaks in four hours. When the App Store launched in June, my buddy Patrick uh, called me up. He's like, dude, like, App Store is like open and we're like eighth place. I'm like, oh my God. Well, I don't have the budget to be a big company and have a big marketing plan, but the App Store provides a single solid distribution channel. And I feel like it's a meritocracy. It's opened the door for so many different people that have good ideas. You can be some guy in a garage. And if you're making a game that people really enjoy and has something to offer uniquely, it'll get noticed. I'm Steve Demeter, creator of Trism.